for today's adventure. We're doing our first overnight backpacking hike, I guess. We were originally going to do a loop that was about 14 miles long, but we went to the wrong parking lot. So we're just going to do an out and back for however long we want, I guess, because the trail goes a long ways. So. The weather on this trip was much better than it was last weekend. And also this means that the bugs were out in full force. You can see how clear the water is. Look at all the tadpoles in the water. There was no shortage of rapids and small waterfalls along this trail. This trail follows the Jack River in Georgia and has many river crossings. We only did three, but if you did the whole 14 mile out and back trail, apparently there were 14. Look at all these butterflies. Wow. Every time the river was right next to the trail, Layla had to pull us off and stick her paws into the cool mountain runoff water. I think she really enjoyed the river being right next to the trail. In the beginning parts of this trail, there was a lot of lose your boot mud. It was very slick and gross but it was kind of expected because it rained a lot over the last couple weeks also the other thing about this trail was that there were lots of fallen logs and overgrowth on the trail so in some parts you had to duck or just deal with plants getting kind of in your face this is an example of one of the many fallen trees that we came across on the trail Look at this ginormous millipede. We have to cross the river now, but it's pretty shallow and there's not too bad of a current, so I think it'll be okay. Plus, our feet are pretty hot, so it'll be nice and refreshing, I think. So the river crossing was not super fun. That girl was scared and Bryce had to go over and come back over to help her across because she was scared and didn't hadn't really swum before i guess but now she's doing okay we just took a break and because everything got wet and we both fell into the water a couple of times but it felt really nice because it was humid and we were hot so um and we filtered some water that's about it we've now crossed our third river crossing and we've gone uh, almost four miles now. Uh, the first two I fell on my butt, that one I did not. That one wasn't as bad. Layla does not like these river crossings. Uh, Bryce has to hold her and she acts like she's trying to swim when he's holding her to cross. So, uh, I'm not looking forward to having to do these again tomorrow. Hopefully we can find a campsite soon and so we don't have to do another river crossing. Finally got to a campsite after river crossing number three, so no more river crossings for the day. You know this view right by the river. Now Layla's on her cable by on a tree so she can run around. And we're gonna set up the tent. Here we're cooking our dinner. I had a backpacker's pantry fettuccine alfredo meal, which was pretty good. And Bryce had a mountain house chicken fried rice meal, which he put a bit too much water in and it was decent. 
This fire was a great way to end the night and to help dry off our wet gear, which included our boots that we had to wear the next day. Here we started our trek back to the car and came across a lot of butterflies again. River crossings are done and Layla behaved a lot better for these. And also we found sticks that we could use as poles and that made it a lot easier. So I didn't fall until the last one and I only fell because one of my poles broke. I thought this little rock island was pretty cool. Or lose your boot mud, but this means we're getting pretty close. Here's Layla stopping to look at every river view again. Come on, Layla. done. This is the end of the trail. All right, well, here we are back at the car after a weekend on the trail. We'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.